Okay. So this question, I don't love this question. How long before I should give up? I would say, um, never. <laughs> That's my, um, you know, I understand what they're saying though, right? So how long before I give up on, you know, maybe a certain food, you know, okay, I've tried, I've tried chicken 400 times and they're just, they just don't like it, you know? Um, you know, I would say if it's food related, if it's for a specific food, you know, I wouldn't just do one food and then wait until they master that to move on to the next food. So what do I mean? So like, for example, we've had some kids come to us um, saying that like, well, they like licked celery for like three weeks and um, they still don't like celery. I'm like, well, yeah, of course not. Like, that sounds like terrible. But the point is, I wouldn't just work on that one food. Like, I think we we really want to do a variety. So I would never just say never come back to chicken, right? Let's just say chicken's what you're talking about. You're trying to get them to eat chicken. I wouldn't say never come back to chicken. I would say pause chicken, do a bunch of other things, and then reintroduce chicken another time weeks or maybe even months later. You don't have to stick with one food and then wait until they like that food to move on to the next. I think that's like a some sort of a um, preconceived notion that people have. Like, well, these are the foods that I want them to master and we're going to work on these foods until they're mastered and then we're going to introduce new foods. But that is just not our approach at all when we do feeding therapy. We work on a lot of different foods Um, We have a very specific way that we teach food chaining um, so that we do encompass lots of different foods, lots of different textures, um, consistencies, all at once. Um, So if you do want to learn more about that, we have a whole module in our Picky Plate to Clean Slate course specifically to teach you how to do that food chaining approach.